can you use repeated reasoning when multiplying? Think about this question during the lesson. Ellie wrote the equations below to find the total number of squares in each of these rectangles. Look at the equations. Known facts with which factors are used repeatedly to find the products. Think. What do I need to do to complete the task? I need to see if there are known facts that can be used repeatedly to find other facts. Let's look at equation A. How do you know that equation A is correct? First, multiply 2 times 6 to get 12. Then, multiply 1 times 6 to get 6. 12 plus 6 equals 18. So, equation A is correct. It shows using a 1's fact and a 2's fact to multiply. What does it mean to use known facts repeatedly to find other facts? It means to use known facts to find the products of unknown facts. Think, how can I make a generalization from repeated reasoning? I can look for repeated calculations. I can make generalizations about the repeated calculations. I can test whether my generalizations will work for other numbers. Here's my thinking. I can see that the factors 1, 2, and 5 are used repeatedly. I can see two generalizations. I can break facts with 3 or 4 into 2's and 1's facts. I can break facts with 6 or 7 into 5's, 2's, and 1's facts. I can test this with other facts. How do 3 times 5 and 6 times 7 show that the generalization is correct? Both are broken into other facts that use 5, 2, and 1 as factors. Now you know how to use repeated reasoning when you multiply.